Hi guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. I'm Lori. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here today. I'm glad we're all here today. Um, yeah. I don't know when this is going to go up. If it goes up before Friday night, midnight Hawaii time, please keep Jordan in your thoughts. She is in the thick of finals and... It's been a tough semester, and she is riding that wave all the way to midnight Friday night, and so she needs all the thoughts that she can get. It's been a tough semester, both class-wise and just um, life challenges that we all go through. So, yeah, I'll make sure she uploads sometime next week after she recuperates and comes up for air. But in the meantime, we'll keep her in our thoughts, and... She's still part of this channel. In the meantime, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed these um, pictures behind me. These are Jordan's. Jordan did the pencil drawing um, of the girl with vines, I think it's called. It's probably the wrong name. But anyway, she did that in high school. And it's really cool. And then she did this one in college. And... Both of them were on loan to me um, until she's back stateside and so I enjoy them while I have them in my presence and so I know that you guys probably see them from time to time flashes and so I just thought I'd point them out since I'm thinking of her and just you know being a mom being worried about her well today we're gonna do a little Ross haul and when I say a little Ross haul it is a little Ross haul um, in where I live in this town, we don't have a TJ Maxx or Marshalls. The closest one is about 25 minutes away. And since I can't drive, um, someone has to take me. And that's usually, well, it's always my brother. And he never wants to take me. Can you blame him? I mean, he does from time to time. He's a real sweetheart about it. And but as of late, we've been staying in town, and I'm not a big fan of our Ross. Um, usually, there's really nothing there that catches my eye. Um, but the past few times that I've gone over the past couple of months, they've had some good finds, and so I thought I would share them with you. Um, they are... Two of them is, are out of their box. One never had a box. And um, I yes, I could put them back in the box but then I'd have to take them out of the box and well that just mean, makes no sense to me so I'm not going to go in any order oh and I forgot I bought I initially went in to pick up makeup wipes the first time and that's when I noticed that they had a really had really upped their selection game Except for makeup wipes. I could not find them. I searched that whole stinking store and found two packs. That was it. I was so frustrated. So, um, I searched around, found some great finds, put most of them back. But one that I, um, found that day was this Derma E Even Tone Brightening Serum. Now, I am using a brightening serum right now, and so um, I haven't opened this yet, but it was a great find. I think I paid $6 for this, and um, I can't even remember. I looked up what the retail price was um, when I got it, but I can't wait to try this. I have some dark spots their age spots I'm getting old it happens and so I'd really like to see if this um, evens out my skin tone and brightens it up I would really like that the brightening serum that I'm using now I wish it worked but it, it's not but that's okay um, and during that visit I saw an item but I decided not to pick it up and then I kicked myself because I have been looking everywhere, you know, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, all the discount stores, trying to find 
a hair turban because ever since I had shingles, I had when I had shingles on my forehead, I also had them in my hair, and I, you know, would wrap a towel around my head and wear it downstairs, and I know my mom wasn't a big fan of that, so I wanted to get a turban, you know, to keep that space collected in its own unit and um, not have to use two towels. And, but I only find packs of two um, turbans and I don't want to, I just need one. I only have one hit. So um, that day that I picked up the brightening serum, I saw this turban hair towel with argon oil. Can you see that? I saw it on the shelf and it was $3.99 and I went, mm, no, I'll, I'll wait. And then I was kicking myself. I was like, Lori, you've been looking everywhere for that. So I had my brother take me um, back up there the next weekend and they had the argon oil one and they also had them in coconut oil and they're infused with the oils but the coconut oil was a whole dollar more which makes no sense to me because argon oil is actually better for your hair than coconut oil although you're not putting the oil on your hair and so um, I picked this up that time and the benefits is it's to supposed to help repair your split ends, tame frizz, and add shine. Now I haven't noticed any of that because, well, I don't have split ends, although I need a haircut. Um, they're not split, but I always have frizzy hair and I don't notice any sh ex extra shine. So I don't know if that does it, but it's and it's a great turban and it's a perfect color for me. Green is my favorite color and so this is green and if you don't know how a turban works, you just stick your head in here and it goes in the back and then you twist it and it's not going to twist. And th there's this little um, elastic thing and you hook it on to the button that's on the back. And so that's like at the base of your skull. And so then it sits like that on your head. Voila! And your hair is all encased and when you're ready to dry it, then you can you know, take the turban off, hang it up to dry, and do your hair. On that same visit, I went back to the back area just to see what they had, and I saw a couple of bowls. One was um, just a cute little round bowl, and the other one was a falls graph. And I'm like, oh, I should get that. And I'm like, no, no, you... You have enough in your card as it is. Well, I ended up putting the majority of that back. And then I'm kicking myself because I didn't get the falls graph bowl. So I made my brother take me back. Again, we went during the week and I picked up. I went straight to the back to pick up that bowl. I wanted that bowl and... He was so kind to do it on a work night because he's always exhausted after work, but he was so kind to do it after work for me. But they had that other bowl that I liked and I wanted it to put my perfume samples in. And so I got this cute little white um, bowl with green polka dots and it's green on the inside. I want to show you, but not dump out all my samples. And I had all these samples, I don't know if I can show you without losing them, but I had all these samples in a little cup and there just wasn't any uh, enough room for all of them. There, there's a better. And I do Fragrance Friday, so I'm always testing fragrances and um, I wanted something a little nicer to put them in and this was three dollars this bowl and it's a beautiful bowl, it's in perfectly good condition and it's green so I was excited it wasn't the false graph which was a beautiful bowl um, but that's okay I don't even know who made, made this oh Coventry 
So it's still, you know, high quality, or at least they used to be. I'm assuming they still are. So I have a place for all my samples and I love it. It's cute. I look at it most mornings and it makes me smile. And that's all that matters, right? Well, then when I was headed up front with just my little glass bowl, because, you know, my brother was there, so I was, a, like, limited on time. I happened to walk by the perfume, the fragrance section, which isn't huge. It's really actually very tiny, and it's kind of right up front. And I saw two perfumes that I had been wanting to try. And the first one was Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. And they had this in a roller ball and it was $7. And I came home and I, you know, just did one swipe on my wrist and I do not like this. I don't even know what the notes are. I can't even tell you what it smelled like. I just didn't like it on me. It was soapy and soapy and powdery, if I can even remember right. And I could be wrong, but that's what I re think I remember. So, you know, I'm not too happy about this, but I have it in my collection. I can do a, you know, Fragrance Friday on it, which I'm woefully behind on, but I can at least do it and give an honest review, even if I don't like it. I still give them. Now, the other one that I saw, I have been wanting to try ever since I saw um, Daisy by Marc Jacobs. And I couldn't believe this was at Ross. And I think I paid $12.99 for this, so $13. I got Dot in a one fluid ounce. I was so excited to get this because I've been wanting to try it forever. And I thought $13 was a pretty good deal for um, a Marc Jacobs perfume. And I got this home and I sprayed it on. And it's pretty. It's pretty in the bottle. I mean, I think there's strawberry in here. At least that's what it smells like and some floral, but I've only put it on me once and I didn't like it. One night, it didn't last very long. You know, I'm a fruity um, scent person if I'm not liking or in the mood for a darker, richer, deeper scent. I like fruity scents. So I really thought I would like that but I don't. And look, it doesn't come red with all the black dots on it, just on the lid. I didn't know that in the one mil. Oh, not one mil. One fluid ounce. I did not know that. So I was kind of bummed about that too. So I was just kind of overall underwhelmed with that. But it's cute. I will use it. I will use it with a smile. It isn't Eau de Toilette, isn't it? No, it's an Eau de Parfum. Um, so why it does? Why doesn't it last? Inquiring minds want to know. I thought it was a toilette since it didn't last. And I forgot to say Lovely is a parfum too. Um, I just don't like it. I don't even know how long it lasted. It was just unpleasant. But... This was a huge disappointment. So my bowl was an exciting find that day. My, I was kind of let down by my perfumes. But overall, I'm pretty proud of our Ross. It's starting to compete. I hope it continues to compete um, so I don't have to beg my brother to drive me um, a ways away. And sometimes it's just to look. I want to see what they've got, what goodies they have. And so, you know, he's, he doesn't want to do that. 
he wants to stay at home. It's his day off. He wants to just relax and rest. And Lori's like, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So hopefully we can just stay in town and do it here. I hope you like um, what I have recently found at Ross over the past couple of months. If you did like this, please give it a thumbs up. I would love that. That way I know you like these kinds of things. Um, if you shop at Ross and you have better experiences with um, finding good items, um, leave it leave me a comment with what you have found lately at Ross. I am really interested. I'm really hoping we start to compete because that would be good. I like keeping, you know, my shopping in town so my money goes to my city. But that's not always an option. So let me know what you have found lately at Ross or if your Ross is a dud too as well. Jordan has a couple of great Rosses in Hawaii, so I know they're out there. I'm just hoping ours turns into one. I've rambled enough. I hope you guys have a great night or a great day. Whatever time you're watching this, I hope the rest of your day is amazing. Take care, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.